Hey, what's up, everybody? So, apparently, earlier when I was at work dropping fat deuces, Marvel Studios was dropping some fat reveals. So, okay. I'll bite. I'm interested. I'll react. I'm gonna munch on some McDonald's, scratch my ass, change my clothes, and then I'll get to reacting. <laughs> And I'm here! So I did see what TV shows and movies were announced, but I didn't actually click on them and read the description in depth, so I'm going to do that now. I'm not really expecting a lot because honestly, I don't like the direction Marvel Studios is going in right now, but hopefully I will be pleasantly surprised and they announce some cool stuff. Alright, first off, this is from the Marvel Entertainment official Twitter. Samuel L. Jackson is back as Nick Fury, and Ben Mendelsohn from Captain Marvel returns as the scroll Talos in Marvel Studios' original series, Secret Invasion. Invasion? Invasion? Secret Invasion. You know, this one is interesting. This one kind of gets my hopes up. I don't really expect too much, though, because it's a, it's a TV show, which... If you're going to do Secret Invasion, you should do it in a TV show. It's too much story to do just in one or two movies. But, I don't know. I know these TV shows have a big budget and all, but I don't think they're going to have the scale that is really needed to tell the story. And I know they're not going to do the exact story from the comics because they don't have some of the same characters that were in the comics. But, I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence about this one. I could see this one being really great. Or I could see it being really underwhelming. I mean, I don't know. My gut feeling says this is going to be kind of lame. But, you know, I have no idea, honestly. Alright, next up. Don Cheadle returns as James Rhodes, aka War Machine, in Armor Wars. An original series coming to Disney+. Plus. A classic Marvel story about Tony Stark's worst fear coming true. What happens when his tech falls into the wrong hands? Well, I'm guessing one guy in a suit of armor is going to fight some other people in a suit of armor. Huh, never seen that before, have we? I don't know, this one just seems really, really underwhelming and very unnecessary. And <laughs> Armor Wars? Armor Wars? That, did a kid come up with this name? Armor Wars? What, was BattleBots taken? Armor Wars! Catch it now on NBC every Tuesday at 7pm! I don't know, I mean, anything can be good, but Armor Wars, prove me wrong. Alright, next up, coming soon to Disney+, Plus, Dominique Thorne is genius inventor Riri Williams in Ironheart, an original series about the creator of the most advanced suit of armor since Iron Man. Okay, so it's a TV show about Iron Man, but he's a woman. Alright, moving on. No interest in that, whatever. Die in a hole, bye bye Ironheart. Alright, what's next? She-Hulk arrives to the MCU. Tatiana Maslany will portray Jennifer Walters slash She-Hulk and Tim Roth returns as Abomination and Hulk himself, Mark Ruffalo, will appear in the series. Directed by Kate Corio and Anu Valia, She-Hulk is coming to Disney+. Plus. So... Another show where it's just a previous character, but now it's a she. But honestly, this one does sound better than Ironheart because at least She-Hulk is different than Hulk. You might just add she to the name. It's a stupid name, but, you know, give her her own name. Come on. But at least she's fundamentally different than Bruce Banner as a character, and maybe it won't be just a, a total retread. I don't know. I, I really don't have any hope for this one either. I've never seen Tatiana Maslany in anything, honestly. She might be good, she might surprise me. And, you know, I'm not a huge She-Hulk fan, I don't really have any comics of her, but I have a hunch that this one could surprise me. I don't know why. And then, uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special. Hmm, James Gunn is back to write and direct the original special coming to Disney Plus in 2022. Okay. Is it going to be just like a 30 minute goofy thing? Probably. This one doesn't anger me, this one doesn't make me happy. This is just... Okay. 
And lastly, everyone's favorite little tree, Baby Groot, will star in a series of shorts on Disney+, Plus, featuring several new and unusual characters. I Am Groot, an original series from Marvel Studios, is coming to Disney+. Plus. This is what I don't like about Marvel. This is the worst of them. This is them at their lowest. Seriously, Baby Groot gets a TV show? He's a walking, talking toy. He's a product. He is a money sign. That's all he is. Well, why is he getting a series of shorts? Hey, at least they're introducing some other characters and they're just gonna retread and regurgitate Groot, Baby Groot over and over. You know what? I'm tired of Baby Groot. I'm tired of Teenage Groot. Let Cool Groot come back. Groot in Guardians of the Galaxy 1 was awesome. That is a great Groot. This, I mean, I'm just, I'm not excited about this. I'm anti-excited about I Am Groot. But you know what I am excited about? Fantastic Four, baby! <clears throat> Yes, I am so happy that they finally officially announced Fantastic Four. Even though it is a couple years away, we don't have a cast, we barely have a logo, I'm still excited for it. Because there are infinite ways that they can screw this up, don't get me wrong. I don't really have faith in Marvel right now to do the right thing by Fantastic Four, but there are so many possibilities for a great movie. Come on, can we get Fantastic Four done right? Come on, Feige. Come on, Marvel. Come on, John Watts. He gave us a great movie with Spider-Man Homecoming. He gave us a good movie with Spider-Man Far From Home. Come on, John. I just, I'm just a little worried that he's going to have kind of directorial burnout by the time he does this because he'll have already done one, two, three Spider-Man movies and then he's going to do this and... Sometimes when a director has been doing something for a long time, they kind of get a little lazy, they get a little comfortable. I want some new, energetic, I want a director that is coming in trying to prove themselves. I want, I mean, if John Watts is a fan of Fantastic Four, that's great. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I didn't really know him before he did Spider-Man Homecoming, and he nailed that, so hopefully he'll surprise me, but... I hope that he's not burned out and that he truly puts his all into it because we deserve somebody who's going to put their all into it and give us a fantastic, fantastic four movie. And look at this. I mean, you can tell that's just a placeholder logo. That looks like that looks like a fan did it. That That's a lame logo. Come on. But logos aside, it's good to know that they're actually working on this movie. They're actually thinking about it. It's not just, hey... We got the rights to them, and it may happen someday. Now it's actually okay. We've announced it. It's happening. We have a director. It's going down. Now all they have to do is not cast John Krasinski as Mr. Fantastic, and I'll be happy. There were some other reveals, though. Spider-Man 3 will tie into Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Duh. Miss Marvel Sizzle Reel, which honestly, I do not care about. Sorry. What if Marvel Studios' first animated series finally gets a trailer? Maybe that'll be cool and it'll kill some of my time, but that's not something that I'm actually excited about. Captain Marvel 2 adds Miss Marvel, more blah, Christian Bell's Thor villain. Uh, okay, about this, let's click on this. Academy Award winning actor Christian Bell will join the cast of Thor Love and Thunder as the villain Gore the God Butcher. Now, I don't want to sound like I'm... I'm ungrateful here because I love Christian Bale. I think he's one of the great actors of this generation. But he's one of the great actors of this generation and you're gonna waste him on Gore the God Butcher? Maybe you're a super fan of Gore the God Butcher, but I'm not. I mean, this is a C-level villain and Christian Bale deserves to lead his own franchise. He needs to be something bigger than this. I just, I don't understand sometimes why they cast these amazing actors in these minuscule roles. Now, I am happy that he's in the movie at all. I mean, that's awesome. Christian Bell as a Thor villain in the MCU? Yes, sign me up. But I just think that he could have been a little more. I don't know, he might prove me wrong and turn out to be one of the greatest villains of all time. You know, anything's possible. And oh yeah, one more thing. Peyton Reed is back to direct the third Ant-Man film, 
Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. Uh, you know, Ant-Man and the Wasp didn't really do anything for me. I thought it was bland, it was lifeless, it was boring. It looked like anybody could have directed it. It had no life to it. It had no style to it. And honestly, I'm not excited for this. Even if you add a, a super goofy name to it, you're not going to get me excited just because you're going to jump into the quantum realm. I mean, once again, like I always say, anything can be good. But Ant-Man and the Wasp WrestleMania? Mm-mm. I am not excited for this at all. I love Paul Rudd as Ant-Man. Evangeline Lilly is pretty good as the Wasp, but just, I don't want another Peyton Reed Ant-Man movie. Like, this is going to be so disposable. And the title to it, Quantumania, that's just ridiculous. That's an even worse title than Armor Wars. I mean, I know these movies are kind of goofy, but how goofy are we getting here? This literally seems like a title that a 12-year-old came up with. But, like I've said multiple times, and like I will always say, anything can be good. There have been multiple movies where I had no interest in seeing them, and they turned out to be amazing. There have been trailers for movies where I thought they were going to blow my mind, and they turned out to be not very good. I mean, I'm just sitting here reacting to names of things, and we haven't even seen set pictures, we haven't seen trailers. I'm not one of those people who just jumps on things just by the announcement of them. But, you know, these are just my gut reactions as a human. I have feelings. And, you know, these were it. This is how I feel about this. I'm not super optimistic about the future of Marvel Studios, honestly. And I think now that Iron Man and Cap and the old Thor and Haw the old Avengers crew, now that that's all over, that's all gone... It's just going to be different now. It's it's never going to be the same. I don't think they're ever going to capture that magic that they did in the first 10 years. We will never see the Avengers come together for the first time ever again. We're, we're never going to have that feeling again, honestly. We can think that we're going to get that again, but that was, that was this generation Star Wars. We had never seen all these different characters come together in one movie and fight together and even though I th do think that some of these things will be really great I don't think we're ever gonna get that mind-blowing movie ever again honestly I just think that Marvel's gonna spit out some disposable films some okay films and then they're gonna have the occasional gem which I hope is the next spider-man Fantastic Four uh, the third Thor movie. I mean, I hope that Captain Marvel 2 and Ironheart and Ant-Man and the Wasp WrestleMania are good, but I doubt that they will be. Uh, I hope I'm wrong, though, because I'm a huge fan of these movies. And I don't want to be cynical about these movies and these TV shows, but most of them I just don't really have any interest in, and I don't know. I know that the trailers for... WandaVision and the Falcon Winter Soldier and Loki dropped, but I'm going to do a separate reaction video for each one of those, so stay tuned for that. So there you have it. Um, those are my initial gut reactions and thoughts about all of the movies and TV shows that Marvel Studios just announced. My mind can be changed. I'm sure it will be changed on a lot of these. And, uh, you know, there you go. I think I've rambled on a good bit and I think it's time to end it here. What I really want to know is what you think about all this. Are you like me and you're kind of hesitant but still excited about some things? Do you hate all of it or are you super excited for most of it? Did these announcements really get you going or did they depress you? I would love to hear what you think in the comments. And hey, until we meet again, peace! Hey, if you like this video and you want to see more of my ridiculous content, check out one of these. Maybe you'll enjoy yourself or maybe you'll watch it and crap your pants. Click one and let's find out.